Well, good morning. This morning we read from Proverbs chapter 20, verses 5 to 14. Start off with the purposes of a person's heart are deep waters, but one who has insight draws them out. Our motivations, our deepest motivations, the purposes of our heart are deep waters, and sometimes we are not even aware of them, or we cover them up. And it takes real insight to draw out what is our real motivation. What are the real things that are causing us to act the way that we act? That's why we ask the Lord, Lord, search my heart and see if there's any wicked way in me. We're asking God to look at our deepest motivations, to make sure that our deepest motivations are righteous. So they come out in good actions. Then there's a verse that says, who can say, I have kept my heart pure. I am clean and without sin. Clearly a, a rhetorical question. No one can say that. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And it's good to remind us of that. Um, even small children are known by their actions. Uh, everyone's known by their actions. So out of the fullness of the heart we speak. Out of the fullness of the heart we act. So if our heart is right, if our motivations of our heart are right, if we keep our heart pure, then our actions will also be pure and upright. It all starts with the heart. And then there's quite an amusing uh, proverb at the end of this passage. It's no good, it's no good, says the buyer. And so he's in the negotiation with the uh, seller. And he's telling the seller, it's no good, it's no good. Oh, you're charging me too much. And he's negotiating the price though. Uh, it's saying how terrible the thing is. And then off he goes. And he boasts about his purchase afterwards. Uh, tells everybody what a good deal he's got. And that's just a reflection of the way life is. Um, and what happens in real life. So Proverbs, some deep stuff today. But also some uh, just... Uh, pithy um, observations of the way that we deal with each other. The Lord bless you in your business today and bless you as you examine and search your heart. The Lord bless you. Amen.